this is my first video this week um, I'll be honest with you guys I've been pretty lazy uh, doing videos because I've just been really busy and um, this week I don't actually have a day off until the Saturday which is my daughter's birthday so yeah I am um, I've been pretty pretty busy I'm um, I'm so excited because I got this video that I wanted to show you all um, <laughs> I went to grandma's house over the weekend and I just you know, just started playing with my camera um, started doing some slow-mos of Charlotte, uh, my daughter, um, you know, uh, my grandma's pets. And I have to say, I'm pretty stoked with it, hey! Um, yeah, I, I went home um, later that, that night and started creating all this like sort of cinem cinematic sort of footage and um, I'm really happy with it. So, in this video today, I'll, I'll show you guys that footage that I had created. On Monday I had um, in salon training with Jane and that was really really uh, formative um, yeah learned a lot about this new product called color motion from Weller uh, that was pretty cool and uh, yeah but you guys will be surprised yesterday uh, which was what days it today Wednesday so yesterday on the Tuesday I did some cool wicked colors um, I think I'll talk to you guys more about it in the salon afterwards. Um, but this girl, um, one of my clients named Eco, she had hair literally all the way down to her bar. And it was thick Asian coarse hair. And like, believe it or not, her hair was actually virgin. So, I mean, to, to get sort of virgin sort of hair, it's actually quite rare, um, especially in this sort of stone age. But she was one of the, one of the rare ones where I mean, I think I have roughly about two clients that are like this, but the moment you put bleach on their hair, it goes white. I, I don't know what it is, but like their hair must be sitting around like a level four and a half to five, which is slightly bit lighter than the standard sort of Asian um, hair types. But man, it came out like literally white blonde and I, am s and I didn't have to leave it on for longer than what I should have. I didn't have to repack it, uh, repack the, the uh, decolorizer, which is the bleach. Um, but I'm really happy with it. So when I get to the salon, I'll talk to you guys about the formulation, uh, the toners, and everything that was used uh, to achieve that color. Um, I also did. I also stuffed myself up yesterday um, because I booked my brother's girlfriend Rosemary in uh, the salon a couple of weeks ago, and I just assumed that she was just going to have a cut. And she comes in, and she's like, "Oh, I, th I got my. I got one of my workmates to." Um, because I'm, I'm very sort of efficient so I like if it's booked in for a haircut I would just normally say to my workmates just shampoo them so they shampooed them I came to the seat and she said to me hey Hung um, I thought we were doing colour and I'm like oh fuck so I had to squ uh, squeeze her in for a colour because I felt really bad because she has a graduation next week and yeah um, I, a big shout out to my workmate Chantel she really helped out with me um, we kind of did the foils or the balayage together uh, and yeah it turned out absolutely gorgeous so yeah I'll go to work I'll do my hair um, and then I'll talk to you guys about the formulation that was used yesterday thanks guys 
Hey guys, how you doing? It's Hong here again. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, making myself a coffee, but have a look at my hair. What? So Steve, um, my business partner, did the perm probably about two weeks ago, and um, yeah, it's definitely thickened up the hair a bit. Um, but as you may know, I'm just gonna blow dry it just straight today, and just to wear it up, just so it's out of my face. Um, but I'll make my coffee, I'll do my hair, and then I'll speak to you about the colors. Alright guys, so now that I have a bit of time on myself, um, yeah, let's talk about the client I did yesterday. So my client Eco yesterday, she had uh, literally virgin hair down to her butt. Um, and what we did was we did some um, highlights. So for each centimeter, um, we teased it, we uh, popped the foil and we used powder lightener, which is, I think it was that we used Blondoplex um, lightener from Weller, uh, with 6% and working from the back uh, to the front. So each section, we uh, sectioned it out, uh, teased it, um, and then put the foil through. And then the next section above it, the centimeter, um, we left it out and then repeat again. So it's like, you color it, you skip, you color it, you skip, you color it, you skip. Um, and yeah, the results turned out absolutely beautiful. So because it was virgin hair and um, being Singaporean as well, like I think, her hair was just slightly a bit lighter than the average um, Asian. So uh, when we uh, took out the foil, it was like, I didn't even need to repack the hair, but it came out literally white. Um, and it was probably one of the best colors that I've ever personally done. Um, and the toner that was used, so, you know, Wellaplex was used. Uh, we used Sealing Care, which helps stop the oxidation of the color. And then after that, we used a toner and the toner that was used was from Illumina Weller. Um, what was used was uh, four slash with 1.9% um, on the roots and then through the ends we did I believe it was uh, no sorry we use uh, we use color touch so it was four slash O in color touch with 1.9% and through the ends we use 10 10 slash 6 which is a violet and uh, also 9 slash 9 7 um, half half with four now the reason why I use 4% is that one any sort of inconsistencies with your bleaching process um, it will just help budge that uh, and give it a half a shade lift um, but also at the same time I find that it also breaks the base so especially the in-between color where it was all natural it lines up very slowly um, to get you more of a slight sort of brown color in between whilst toning into a nice sort of um, like creamy blonde so yeah, um, look, I'll put the footage on and I'll show you guys exactly the processes of it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that.
right, so my second client, uh, Rosemary, she's my brother's partner um, and she had the graduation for next week and when I had booked her in three weeks ago, totally forgot, well, didn't forget, but I don't think I don't believe she told me that she wanted a colour, I just assumed it was for a cut, but that was my fault. I'll take responsibility for that. So I did a colour and I got, thank God for my workmates, um, my workmate Chantel helped me out quite a lot. Um, so she helped me out with the colour. And so I did the front, she did the back, and yeah, um, the toner that was used was, let me just have a look, it was for, this was in Illumina now, so after it's all been bleached using Blondel Plex with 6%, I would never go any higher than 6%, because um, I find if you use anything higher than 6%, like 9% or 12% with a decolorizer, it's actually quite damaging for the hair. So on the roots, I used a four slash, and then through the mid length and ends as a toner, uh, I used, I believe it was 838, which gives it a bit of creaminess, but also ash through the hair. Um, also 781, and also uh, I think I used 9 slash 60, which is the violet to counteract any goldness. But it gives it this sort of real creamy caramel um, blonde. So yeah, um, hopefully today is a really good day guys. Uh, hopefully that's quite formative for you guys. Um, hopefully you guys got a bit out of it, but I'll get back to work. Um, if I do anything cool today, I'll let you know and yeah, hey, we're here to have a good time. I'm a bit of a jokester, so maybe I might just hassle and you know harass some of my workmates today. See ya. Hey guys, I just literally finished my uh, my first client for a, a trim and blow dry um, and I've just finished a, a retouch as well. So I'm just here. I'm about to make myself a, an amazing spiritual orgasmic coffee and so I'm really excited. So you guys with me? Hey guys, I'm just about to drink my coffee. Cheers. Hi V Tang. Hi Hong. How's your day going man? Great. What are, you, what are you drinking? Um, I have to mix up collagen powder in my drink because working with you ages me. Uh, 
Sounds about right. <laughs> Hey guys, just a bit of an update for today. Um, so I just literally finished my uh, men's haircut and camo. Um, I pretty much have a bit of spare time at the moment. So what I might do is just sit here and do absolutely nothing. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I just want to let you guys know that we had a, um, a few uh, issues today. So guys, for everyone out there, if you guys are having any sort of issues or like, you know, struggling or you know, not feeling too well about yourself, you know, make sure you get some help. Um, make sure you communicate that with your team um, because, you know, if you're trying to put on a brave face and you, you know, you, you hold it inside of yourself, eventually it's gonna burst, right? So if you guys are struggling in any capacity, make sure you communicate it with everyone else um, because it's really important with the well-being and, and, and mental health as well. So um, yeah, like share the love. Um, and yeah, let's all, everyone, you know, you may not understand what someone is going through and sometimes, you know, you may assume the very worst, but try to understand it from their point of view. Um, try to understand that maybe they're going through a bit of a difficult time. But hey, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Why are you slacking off? <laughs> you missed a bit right there. No, no, right I haven't there. started yet. <laughs> Hey Olivia, am I an asshole? No. Oh, come on, you were supposed to say yes. Is this is this for the behind the scenes? Nah, this ain't this ain't nothing. This is just no, this is just me talking absolute shit right now. <laughs> so my workmate Olivia there, she's like the most incredible worker <laughs> in the entire world. <laughs> Okay, you don't have to sugarcoat it that much. I wasn't sugarcoating, I was <laughs> winking at the camera. Okay. <laughs> One more client for the day. Um, it's currently 4.30. Uh, my next client is a men's cut and he's coming in um, in 15 minutes. So I'm um, just relaxing a bit, just chilling away. Um, but yeah, I'll have a bit of a summary of, um, you know, how my day went at the end of the day. and. Um, yeah, and then when I go to edit the uh, videos tonight, I'll make sure that I add all the previous um, work that I've done over the last few days as well. Um, yeah, guys, I'll see you soon. That's a beautiful vein. Uh, <laughs> you didn't have to get me a present. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna turn you around for a second. All right. So my workmate is so fucking popular that she gets fucking shit delivered to her. See that? And I'll be working hard all these years and I still haven't made it yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm speechless at the moment. So my workmate, Sab. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Olivia, sorry, Olivia. <laughs> oh, shit. No, so Saint Incredible just happened. Um, so I lied, my workmate, Olivia is actually a great cleaner after all. So for the last couple of weeks, um, look what we found. Do you see it? I found the lid or the barrier to my um, gold FX trimmers. It got lost for the last maybe week or so and I felt so lost without it, but we found it and it was, See where the tables are? It was just literally, it fell in between the cracks there and it wouldn't come out. Um, but because my workmate Olivia was so observant, she was able to find it for me and now I am the happiest man ever. Um, look, today has been a very, um, it was actually a pretty difficult day. Um, not because uh, the task itself was difficult, but I felt like we had a few uh, sort of um, uh, personal issues with our staff members. Um, yeah, look, like I said, guys, like if, if there is ever a time where, you know, you're feeling lonely, you know, you need to talk to someone um, or, you know, you're not feeling comfortable with yourself. Guys, um, please, 
um, communicate. Communicate that to towards your team. Communicate that to the people that you care about. You know, because they are the people that are going to be there for you um, and to try to lift you. You know, obviously as employers, we can't um, help if we don't know if something is wrong. So. Um, yeah, just keep that in mind and um, stay positive. Everyone, stay positive. Now, overall, today was actually a really good day. Um, I know <laughs> I'm a bit cheeky like this, but yeah, I um, I had an extremely good day. Um, I all, love all my clients. I love coming to work. It's it's amazing. Um, yeah, I was. I'm still pretty stoked about the color I did yesterday, though. Fuck, it was amazing. Um, just how light it came up. Um, I was really, really happy with that. And um, yeah, like I said, I'll show you guys a few, I will show you a few footage if I haven't already um, and show you guys that. So yeah, no, really, really happy with how uh, things went uh, and came about. Um, and yeah, um, I'm about to, I'm in my, um, my gym gear at the moment. Uh, but I'm going to go to the gym for the second time since my operation um, and just get you know get some energy levels up and feel good about myself and yeah and no, I'm really excited um, guys I hope you enjoyed the video today um, obviously in this sort of episode it will be a footage of like I don't know three days in one so it might be longer than um, the previous ones but guys thank you so much um, and I'll see you guys next time cheers